If you're still typing wreck me a business plan into ChatGPT, then I'm sorry, but you're not actually using AI. You're simply babysitting it. And that's fine, unless you like wasting title forms. Not today. Today, I will show you a prompt formula that turns ChatGPT into your smartest teammate, capable of writing strategies, solving real problems, and delivering exactly what you need. And it's inspired by expert frameworks like Roses, Coast, and Fine but simplified into something that you can use anywhere, anytime, and very easily. Hi, my beautiful Dictopians. I'm your host, Nursu, as always, and I've tested hundreds of prompts across marketing, business, code, and more just for you. And after that, I can confidently say that the difference here between me to mind-blowing is totally your prompt. Let's be real, guys. It's just you and me here. You will see most people typing these. Give me productivity tips. How do I grow my business? Help me write an email. Really? I mean, come on, for real? And because they're generic, they get generic results in return. So as you can see, that's not ChatGPT's fault. It's not the one to blame. It's just playing back the patterns it sees. We think ChatGPT is something miraculous, right? But it's not a mind reader, guys. It's a pattern matcher. You get what you give. I have explored expert level frameworks for you. Roses, Coast, Prime, Guide, and while they're super effective, they can feel like overkill for everyday use. So I simplified them into one formula that gives you 90% of the power with 10% of the effort. Role, Goal, Context, Constraints, and Format. Let's break it down. Role. Who should ChatGPT be? Who do you want it to be? I don't know, a recruiter maybe? Or a starting advisor? A coding tutor? Goal. What do you want to walk away with? A plan, a list, a table? Context. What is the background? Style, any boundaries? And format. Bullet points, table, paragraph, or JSON? Only when you combine all this, ChatGPT responds like a trained expert and not a confused intern. Let's say you're launching a startup, okay? Instead of typing write me a marketing strategy, try this. Act as a senior SaaS marketing strategist. My goal is to launch a productivity app for remote teams. It uses AI to schedule tasks by energy level. The budget is 5K a month. I need a GTM strategy broken into phases with low-cost channels prioritized, presented in a table format with KPIs and timeline. And that's not just a prompt, guys. That's a full-on brief. You, my friend, you just turned ChatGPT into your own pro selfie, so bravo. Now, if you want to go deeper, here's how I think about the expert frameworks. Roses. Great for content, resumes, and structured outputs. Coast. Amazing when you need to explain problems and give background. Prime. Perfect for business cases, strategy, and success metrics. And die. Best for processes, training docs, or role-based templates. Of course, you can still use my formula as a shortcut, but these are also very helpful if you'd like to customize your approach a little more. And now it's time for some use cases you can steal. Here are three ways you can use this formula today. Career prompt. Act as a tech recruiter. Help me revise my resume for a back-end engineering job at a startup. My experience is in Python and distributed systems. Keep it one page and focused. Personal finance prompt. Act as a money coach. I earn $4,500 a month, live in Austin, and want to save for a house in two years. I have no debt. Build me a budget and savings plan. Keep it simple and actionable. Learning prompt. Be a patient statistics tutor. Explain standard deviation like on 12. Then give me three practice problems that get harder with each step. See how much clearer and helpful that is? If you're already loving this formula, then I've got something bonus for you. Here's how to level it up. Iterate. Ask ChatGPT to refine, rewrite, or simply the same response. Switch roles. Want a second opinion? Ask it to play devil's advocate. Use memory. And that is for pro users. Build a continuous assistant that learns your style over time. Last but not least, guys, like I told you before in the beginning of this video, ChatGPT is not magic. It's just a mirror. If you're vague, then it's going to be vague also. So next time, use this formula. Role, goal, context, constraints, and format. Try it out and let me know in the comments how your experience turned out. And of course, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share with your accounts. I'll see you in the next one.